So that makes you then like sixty-three. Uh, Seth? I'm yeah, I'm sixty. Yes, I'm sixty-three. But my name's Paul. Shut up, Seth. Yeah, my name's. We've known you since the fifth grade. You're Dennis, Seth. be quiet. I I've been. I'm I was Paul. in your elementary school class. Dude, you want me to hear your book? We, we went. Met, to, we, we went to preschool. We went to preschool. Guys, 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 you hear that? I think Greg's here. Sorry I'm late. I had no idea they were breeding this time of year. It was really hard to uh, get my way over here. Wait, what? What was breeding? Anyway, um, so, uh, wait, oh, but what, what is the, uh, what's the order of business here? Um, the what, what, uh, what kind of uh, celebration is this? Is it, I, is, is, it what, is, is, is this formal? No. Is this formal? Um, is it? Well, I mean, you are dressed pretty spiffy, but I'd say, no, yeah, no, no, this is good. This is good. You can, Is this a birthday? It's my birthday. Okay. Here's your card. Here's your guitar. Alright. Nice to meet you fellas. Uh, uh, it's it's a blank piece of paper. Thanks. So, Greg, uh... Yeah, so I understand this is my, this is my first uh, official party here. So... What I like to do is, I like to have a little introduction amongst ourselves. I'm gonna, so I try to get to know my clientele a little more. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna, we're, we're going to, uh, it's gonna be like an interview kind of, because I, I need to get some good credentials on my names. So I'm just going to, just gonna sit down and ask you a few questions, and then this show can get on the road, all right? Greg, this is. We all, we all know you. Let's go. This is a birthday party. Like, this is just a. We all know each other. We've been friends for years. Well, I I, I already prepared this, so. But I mean. This is just a birthday party. There's, I'm sorry. I, we're I, not interviewing this, people. No, we're for formalities. Friends. Damn it! You're taking this way too seriously. It, it's, it's, it's too late. Don't you start this game with me. Let's get this out. Let's get this on the road. Don't bring me down. Ooh. I 
His middle name isn't Hyphen, it's Franklin. You don't know that. His birth certificate was lost. It was destroyed in a fire. Yeah. Along with my other family yeah, possessions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, yeah. But just like Greg, go on with this joke, and... Okay. I'll just go to his birthday party. I, I have a few questions to ask all, all three of you. I'm, I'm going to start with the one with the spine instead. <clears throat> Did you eat your sheet? Did, did you eat my sheets? The ink started, like, speaking, and it tasted pretty good. I, what is wrong with you? Oh, he's I'm, 63 years old, he's clearly suffering from dementia. This I, is just, I, it's gonna pass. I, See, I spent three hours I think he's talking to the LSD in them or something. Okay, you know what? I ate, like, five of them. They don't have LSD in okay. them. Man in hat, I need, at the end of time, I need to ask you a question. Oh, I don't get it. I, I'm not talking to you yet. I'm gonna eat some of these more LSD. Right, right. Continue, continue. In your professional opinion, do bald people use body wash or shampoo? In your professional opinion, what do you use? Is this question funny at all? Because when I was typing these questions out, I didn't intend them. To be laughed at by some jackass with a client on his head. Alright? So, what is your fucking answer? What's your I'm answer? almost entirely sure. I'm pretty sure they use a lavender lotion mixed with a nice sea breeze. Which one? That? That was, shampoo. That wasn't one of the options. Shampoo. Sally. 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 Alright. It's perfect. Quaff, man. I need to ask you a question. Shoot. If you could look into the dreams of any animal on the planet, any animal, which, right. which one would you peer into? And why? A sea clam. See, no, all clams live in this. Touch my beard again, I'll cut your goddamn hand off. I've seen him do it. I was a knob. We were in Iraq, get your facts straight. Okay, I'm taking these LSD cookies. Oh, and my answer is ringtail dreamer, Greg. Why? Because they are goddamn awesome. All right. You ever seen one? Do that you... ringtail? Well, well you, when you brought up clams, I thought of another question. <laughs> Do you? Oh, oh, this this is a question all three. Okay. Of you. All right. Yeah. Let me go through that show. Uh, do you think that clams believe, or sorry, do you think that crabs believe that fish can fly, and why? If so. Well, recent studies have shown that crabs are polytheistic, and I believe they could reverend the uh, flying fish as sort of a uh, deity. Therefore, my answer is a solid and confident yes. Your, your, your opinions don't matter. Now, Bill, I have to, I have to come to you Stop last. Okay. If you could be yeah. any mythical creature, which one would you be and why? Well, very simply, I'd be a unicorn, and I'll tell you why. Unicorns, they exert 746 watts all day, every day, consistently, all right? Now, you put a weapon on the front of that, and you've got the best uh, killing machine since somebody put machine guns on a goddamn crocodile. Now, before I move on to my, uh, to my final part of uh, the question, this is tasty. during this entire interview... You've been scribbling something on that balloon, and I would like to know what it is. Um, it is please, can you please toss it over? It is Sully, <coughs> the Norse god of mythology. Sully? And Sully. Oh. S-E-L-L-Y. I would, uh... You, ha you have a degree in northern theology. I would have thought you would, uh... Would have recognized him instantly. in a Sully factory. That doesn't mean you can't have a degree in... Yeah, how many, how many I, jobs I need, do you think you can get with a degree in Norse you, mythology? I need to ask yes. you a question. If, if this is a Norse deity... Yes. Why is it very clearly wearing a Jewish yarmulke on its head? Well, that was added by the, la the latter Norses. It's because... Are the latter Norses Jewish? The latter Norses are not Jewish, but he symbolizes us all, and they have deep re reverend for the Jews. Why does, why does he have a... Why does he only have one nostril? No, that, that, that's, a, that's a mole. A mole? Yeah. In Norse mythology, it turns cancerous, and he has to have it removed later in, like, chapter Why does his nose look like a, a deformed uh, cheese the wedge? The poetic Edda? Because he is a uh, Chernobyl baby. Why, you, why does his nose look like a deformed cheese wedge? 
Because he's a Chernobyl baby. Nuclear fallout. I love that game. Yeah. One final question. One final question. Scientific concept, balloon. not the video game. Yes. What, what are these? They're tattoos. He gets one for every uh, person he killed in the rival game. So two. Yes. Well, uh, he also has one um, behind each ear that symbolize uh, eternity and prosperity. Yes. Final question. How do you eat this one? Yes. I was going to narrow this down. Thank you. I have four of you doing in my hands. I need you to pick which one best suits your personality. Uh -huh. Number one, one balloon and one. Yes or no? No. Number two, Mothman. Yes or no? Um, you know, let's go back to this one. Keep on going. Okay, that'll go in the maybe pile. Pokeboa. Yes or no? I kind of like the whole mono vision thing he has going on, but no depth perception. Yeah. Um. So no. Well. Mm, no. No. The point of gears is good. Yarmy Yahoo. Yes or no? Yeah, that's it. That's the one. You know, I do. You you have won. You're the, you have answered this question most enthusiastically out of anybody else I've ever had. Eat that. Greg, what's going on? This has been session 36C with Bill, Quaffman, and Seth. All right, everybody. Uh, as typical party fare, I think that we should make ourselves a cake. Nobody bought a, brought a cake. I no, I well, that... I mean, Seth's a terrible friend, so I didn't. My name's Paul. You guys are terrible friends. You don't anyway, know my name. I'm going to be head chef. How old am I? And. And you three are going to be my cronies. Damn. Or droogs, as they say in English. Can I be the orc? I have a question. Master? You can be the orc. Yes. Oh, okay. I'm going to buy into your madness and just make a cake with you. Can I be sous chef? You can be sous chef. You are orc on the master. You are? The one who knocks. The one who knocks? The danger. You are the danger. Okay. Sous chef. Whoa, whoa. whoa. I'm just sous chef. Can I be danger zone? Sous chef, danger zone. Okay. I need... That, I, will, that, I like that. I require a pot. Like how many grams? He said me. Did you say danger? He said two. A yeah. cylindrical pot. Hold on, I need to bless this. Give me a second. Orgami master. That's a perfect spear. I know. I've never Dude, seen it executed in real life. Oh my Look god. At that. Oh. Look at that. The camera can't even see him. Who cares? Look. Alright, alright, all right, all right, right. calm down. I'll, we'll contain our excitement. We'll contain our excitement and we'll, uh. Okay, that reminds me. Do we need sugar? The danger. That was the danger's job. The danger. <laughs> Give me some sugar. We'll combine the ingredients in a moment. Sous chef, I already, no, I already asked you. Give me something to coalesce these two. The perfect mixture. Ready for this? Now. No. no don't use, I don't trust you guys with the stove. You can use your stove. It's a very special stove. But how are we His doing? grandmother gave it to him huh. before she died. We're going to need to preheat this to approximately 375 degrees. Did you smell that? Yeah, it's a piece of paper and two that. chunks of brown sugar. And that damn glass cleaner. No, nope, we didn't have. Yeah, you know, maybe we should add some water. Some water? No, 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 but that is poisonous. But kids are. Do we? Do we? This will kill you. Uh, we have milk. I have a substitute. Okay. Nope. My hey, who? I have a substitute. Who drank all the milk? Substitute. Did nope. somebody drink all the? No. Oh, you hear that sizzle? Hear that sizzle? I hear that sizzle. Hear that sizzle? All right. Give, Give me that knife. We need to stir it. Uh, no, I will stir it. I'm okay. head chef. You are head chef. Stir this. We stir for approximately 30 seconds. Guys, you one Mississippi. Have... Two no. Mississippi. Three Mississippi. This isn't Four how you make a cake, Greg. Five Mississippi. Six Mississippi. Pour it in there. Seven. You ruined it! No! no! Yes! This is eight Mississippi! Nine Mississippi! This isn't how you make a cake. This isn't how you make a cake. Danger zone. Mississippi. You need 13 to Mississippi. 14 Mississippi. It's okay. We're getting to the 15 Mississippi. 17 Mississippi. This isn't how you make a cake.
you make a cake? Mississippi. 19 Mississippi. 20 Mississippi. I thought you were going to say that. Mississippi. You can set a 22 time. Mississippi. 23 Mississippi. 24 Mississippi. 24 oh, Mississippi. This is getting intense. 26 27 Mississippi. Mississippi. 27 Mississippi. 28 Mississippi. 29 Mississippi. 30 Mississippi. No, 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 no. Is it okay? Did we save it? Did we save it? Come here. It's fine. It's okay. Are there enough chunks? Are there enough chunks? It's pretty chunky. Okay. But I'm not I'm not trained like you are. This oh. isn't how you make a cake. Sous chef. Have you never seen a cake this beautiful? Sous chef. Oh, I'll, I'll have none more from you, sous chef. Sous chef. What is going on? Sous, sous chef. Get me some plates. I'm, Get I'm me afraid. some plates. I think we need somebody to bless this meal. I will say prayer. Let's join hands. I, I, I don't believe him. I don't care. This is my party. I'm 63. My name is Paul. Okay. Dear Lord Zeno, we ask you to bless this fake wood table. Oh, Alron. With our beautifully made cake out of wonderful morsels. I want an eater so then. I know. It's okay. You can, you can get through this. We'll get through this. Please bless this table Operating theme. with your Norse magic and your special pie crust. Dianetics. Amen. <laughs> that was powerful. All right, I'll go get the, I will go get the, uh, the cake. God bless you, Lord Zena. Greg, this isn't a cake. Bowl soup is the best cake. This isn't a cake. Cake isn't liquid. This is have some bowl soup. Extra this chunky, please. Cake. What's going on? This this was fun, but now it's now it's strange. I like you. You get more. Thank you. This, this drink, everybody. This isn't a cake. Oh, I'm, I'm stuffed. All those LSD cookies, you know. You know. <sighs> My design. Here. Build my the sun sky. Describe the taste. The eyes of night. Describe the taste, please. What did it taste like? What did it taste like, though? I'll have more. Well, I'll tell you. I imagine if you, if you took veal, but yeah. not, but, it, but like veal's meaty, right? Yeah. But, but, not, same, but, not, but not too meaty. Yeah, the same intensity of veal. But in liquid form? But in liquid form, yes. I've, I could never have thought of I've never, I, guys, I have perfect I have never, description. I've never felt like I've felt before tonight. <laughs> All right. In in addition to Sully, it seems we have a new friend joining us today. Just show him to show him to everybody at home. What is his name? Jill. Jill. His name is Jill. His name is Jill. His name is Jill. Jill. Okay. And we cannot come to accept that in time. It's, it's a balloon. It, it's 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 Jill. Legal. Dylan, it, it's legal. He called right. It's, it's legal in seventeen states. We'll be I'll, there. Someday. I will have you know that um. This is the type of bigotry that Jill's kind it's has been suffering through for millennia. Millennia. Am I am I dead? Right? Is this hell? No. Am I? Is this hell? Trans. Are you this real life? Translation, or just fantasy? What? Have you? You know what? Okay, guys. Uh, again, as typical uh, party fair, I have decided that we are going to play a board game. I keep it in my, my satchel. Is this well, a course. snuff film? Are you making a snuff film? Clue. Let's do it! Alright. I'm already gonna call it. I'm already gonna call it. There's the butler with the pipe in the masonry room. Okay, instruction the booklets. We don't need yeah, those. we'll know how to we play We don't clue. need those. Can what? I, We're all, right. all well versed in clue. Can I be Colonel Mustard? All right, so here, here's how the, the I big, like the red. I want Colonel Mustard to in this edition. Know your clue. Can I be the here's red guy? Here's how guy? here's how the game works out. Can I be the red guy? Of course you can. I, I need I need time. Hold on. Okay. Here's how the game works. 
We have clue cards. This isn't fun anymore. We take these. Excuse me. We set these out on the table right here. I still. Once you start the party, you don't need the. We party. have we have Mrs. Peacock, Mr. Green, Miss Scarlet, Colonel Mustard, Professor Plum, and Mrs. White. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not perfect, and I can't always live up to your expectations of me. All right, but we're going to have these here. But I want to be Colonel Mustard. So. We're going to put these to the side for a moment. Right. We're going to have the lounge, the dining room, the study, the ballroom, the hall, the library, the billiard room, the kitchen, and the conservatory. Where's the masonry room? Did you lose the masonry room? Part? I did. I'm sorry. It was lost in transit. Oh, that's my favorite. So, okay. We, we now we have the game pieces. We have we have Lex Luthor. Yes. That's uh, Mr. Green. Kate Winslet. That's Miss Scarlet. No, I no, that's not yet. Not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Another Kate Winslet. Mm -hmm. That's purple Peacock. guy. That's Colonel Mustard. And purple guy. That's Professor Plum. And where's Miss White? And Rosie the Robot. That's Ms. Okay, White. so we have everything here. Now we gotta pick the, the starting positions of all the characters. <laughs> so th this is how we do it. Take one we take one get game piece, throw it up in the air, whichever card it lands on, that's where it starts. All right. right. I mean that's standard right. clue rules. Hold on, hold on. Well, hold on. You'll get, you'll lower, get lower, an lower your arm, lower your arm. Here we go. Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Kate Winslet goes in the library. How cool works. Mrs. White. Hall. Put her in the hall. This isn't how any of this works. Colonel Mustard. Ballroom. Put him in the ballroom. Oh, he's gonna have a ballroom blitz. Purple guy. That's, that's the hall. He closes that's the masonry. Right? Closest to lounge. You're put not even lounge. following the fake rules. Close it, put him in the lounge. Nope, he's gotta go in the lounge. Uh, also, Kate Winslet. Paul? I, I just want to say... Power struggle. I, study. I, I feel like if they Lex don't Luthor land on a card, if Lex they don't land on a card, they should go in the masonry room. I think that's what I'm saying. It's no masonry room. Land on card, masonry room. Masonry room. room. Alright. Now you get to pick your game pieces. Alright, well I want the red one. No, no, you're not. Uh, I'm going to be the gun. Alright. Well, you, that's only fair, yeah. Oh wait, I'm sorry. You did, you did serve in Iraq. So. I'm so I, I completely forgot the rules of this game. I'm sorry for a second. All right, cards down. This is how you pick it. Pick a card. You're a wrench. I'm the wrench. But here you go. Pick a card. I'll have you know that the wrench is the most fleshed out. And you are. You are. Stick. You are the candle. Oh, Jack, be stick. nimble. Jack, be quick. And he, what do you get? The red girl. You are the lead pipe, good sir. All right, lead pipe, and I'm the gun. Oh, I'll I'll, I'll just draw one for Sally really quickly. Oh, sorry. It's, it's balloon. She's not sentient. I'll, it, it's, it's Sully's he. a Sully's a he, by the way. So, oh, the rope. Sully's the rope. You racist. All right, Sully's it's, the rope. It's a, it's an inanimate object. Here you go, Sully. It doesn't have feelings. Sully thinks you. All right, so uh, pick pick your starting position. All right, well, I'm gonna be the right girl. No, I mean no, you, no. You you play as the the pieces. All right. Well, okay. I'm gonna go in the uh, masonry room. You, you start here. Where are you start? Right. That's right. You have to start here. You have to start in one of these these assigned um, positions. Sally's gonna where, start where here. Where do you start? Uh, can I eat this piece? No. Where do you start? I I'll start at Colonel Mustard. Okay. And I will start at Miss Scarlet. Okay. Here's the rules of the game. We have a die right here. We do. I want to die. We're gonna go. We're gonna start ro rotation of the earth. We're gonna start this way. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll a die. Which, whichever number I roll on, that's how many attempts I get to. Uh, that's the the number of attempts I have to strike my assigned character. All right. Mm -hmm. So I am going to go. Oh, how the fuck can I keep forgetting about this? You need to pick uh, your. You need to pick your pick your targets too. Right. Here, draw. You pick three, dumbass. He has to take all three now by Manhattan rules. Who do you get? Do you, to attempt. Who do you, you have? You don't share them with anybody. That's oh. the mystery of Clue. Okay. I'm going to start here. What's it read? Play it, play it as it lays. Play it as it lays. It reads two. It reads two. It reads two. Let the record stand. Two! Thank you. That's not how the and game... now, and now I, I stand back from the table and I attempt to strike my opponent. You killed me. I'm sorry. I, I skipped ahead too early. Alright, I did not make it. 
Rotation of the Earth. Roll the die. Four! Four. Um, you have four attempts to strike your target. Okay, um... You have to attend behind the line, though, over there. Okay. Okay, let me just... Paint wallpaper's the line. That's, this isn't how the game works, but... Strike them. Okay. Save. So have... You have to try to attack... Does that count? You can't drop the pieces! Does that count? No, it doesn't count. So I still have four to strike? No, no, you have three. I hate you. If you hit, be warned though, if you hit, you hit me with the wrench, now I go to first base. That, there are no bases! You, that, that means you get to move six bases ahead. Yes. There you go. But the, the, Next! Well, yeah, it's also an automatic forfeit because you okay, are. I'm gonna crawl into the table. So, you crawl into the table, you're next. Now it's my turn. You can't strike other players, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's like page one of the rulebook. Oh! oh! <laughs> ah! Big round! Yes! Big round! Wow! He's right, you got I, I want to go home. Alright guys, that board game went very well. It really created a sense of unity between us. I'm feeling so, it. So to boost this even I don't more. I feel it anymore. So to boost this even more. I think we should have a jam session. Do you agree? No. I, I want to go home. Alright. Quaffman. My name is Dennis. And Alan, come on. This, this is even an instrument. You have to use your imagination. You make it an instrument. Man, man, man that I love. Thank you. No, I'm not. Obviously. And you? Well, just thought I should specify for all your uh, kindergartners who are going to be watching this movie later. Hear that, little Johnny. No homo. And I, of course, will get. This isn't an instrument, Greg. The guitar. Oh, I need my pick. Right, you played in the thrash metal band for like. That's what it was called, if you remember. It would, it would appear that I don't have my pick. But you know what? That's okay. But why do you I have care spares? In case you should ever need them. I want to go here. Come here. Come here. <laughs> it's because we're wearing hats. That's the connection. I want to go home. That's All right. The connection. It's really strong. Yo, you drove me here, didn't you? Yeah. You, you and I can't leave, leave can I? You, no, yeah, you don't leave till you know, at least until this jam session is over. I'm gonna kill myself. Don't do that. No, I'm literally going to right. get a knife and kill myself. This is Nobody work. cares, Dennis. All right. Dennis. Silence during my time. This right. is a solo. It's not a solo. This is here's how it's gonna start. I'm, I'm gonna begin a song. Okay, I'm gonna be singing a song. I'll land on a, on a few lyrics. Pass it on to you. Once we're done, we're gonna have a we are going to have a composition that will rival anything Queen. that has ever been made. Okay. I'm For your ears. I'm feeling the spirit. You're gonna get me. All right, I, I'm gonna start. I stared upon the beach when I was a little boy. Um, I want to die. My life is nightmares. Everything makes me want to kill myself. I regret the coming to this party. I hope Seth gets cancer. Also, I'm Paul! Your lyrics are going on for way too long. So, uh, pass it's time to pass to pass the bill. To the men I love. And on that beat, I saw a whale. I'm gonna be completely 
character in Behind the Music with Cat Stevens. That's, this is definitely the most artsy episode. Yeah, Behind the Music, how, I, I didn't catch the one with Murder Head last night, how was that? Um, well, Lemmy went like, yeah, yeah, a lot, and, uh... Did, did, his, did his moles get any bigger? Oh, absolutely. Um, it, he has one covering about half of his face now. Oh my god, that's, that's like... How, how terrible... <laughs> at, what, at what point do you have to degrade? Bill, help me. It, it, would you say that they're like... They're like cancerous at this point? I mean, most likely. I did study moles for about two years in dermatology class, so... Oh my, wasn't that when, I, when uh, <sighs> you were studying dermatology and I was studying, studying botany? Yeah, yeah. By the way, I this is one of those stereoscopic 3D TVs. Yes. Where are these? They look really fucking mind. I was not expecting that. You told me I wasn't, I wasn't ready. I wasn't... Dude, those if you can handle it, can you handle it? I think I can those, those Give me a verbal confirmation that you can indeed handle it. I can indeed those, handle Wait, before you, I need, to, I need to warn you something. Yes. Those glasses, it normally it creates a 3D experience. Those glasses create a 5D experience. At least, possibly even 6. Are you ready? I'll, I'll, I'll brace you. I wasn't ready! I told you! We told you! I, I also, there's one thing I have to say. What, what happened to Quaff guy? I've never been so I, excited. I think in my he life. Killed, did he kill himself? He, he, yeah, well, I heard a gunshot, and he's kind of limp. So oh, I so, mean, so that was the see. that was the slithering I was hearing on the floor. Um, do you have do you still remember the uh, five signs of death for when you uh, train as a Red Cross mortician? Yeah, it wasn't one uh, blood outside the body. <laughs> yes. Um, you know, but not in a I, jar or anything. Right, not in a jar. Let's flip him around. Let's examine this for the five signs of death. Um, it's gonna be kind of difficult. That's okay. I'll hold him. His face is near my dick. I'll hold him like in the Michelangelo. That's not weird. <laughs> oh, okay. Come on, come on. He's a big boy. I'm holding him like in the Michelangelo. Well, okay. outside the body, do you observe any? <laughs> And I see some around the neck. Yeah, he's got the stigmatas of Christ. So is he black all over? Um, he's black on his ears. Well, he was, but he had an operation for that. I, I see some black right around here. That's a beard. Oh, it's a beard? Okay. It's a beard. Okay. Sorry, I, I, I dropped out of med school. It's okay. All right. Uh, what's the other signs? The other sign was uh, all burnt up. Is he all burnt up? No, he's in normal squishiness. Well, he's burnt up with dancing fever, but nothing else. <laughs> Check for a heartbeat. Check for a heartbeat. Oh, you son of a bitch. Is there one there? It's out. All right, that he just he just voided his bowels. <laughs> that that was the noise that we just heard. All right, well that means he's dead. All right, cool. So uh, yeah. All right, let's uh let's watch Animal Planet. Let's watch Animal Planet. You and me, baby, nothing but mammals. So let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. You and me, baby, nothing but mammals. So let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. Get horny now. My name's Paul. My name's Paul. It's Paul. I'll show them it's Paul. <laughs>